All right, so I'm just an idiotic, stupid dog, and it goes without saying, uh, you know, in dog years, I might have nine or ten dog years, but really I probably got about a year and a half left to live. So for me, you know, AI coming to dominate mankind and rule the world, it's not such a big deal to me because I probably I'm not going to be around to suffer the consequences. But there's this ex-open AI researcher, and he says there's a 50% chance that AI development will end in doom with most humans being eradicated, extinctified. They're going to extinct them. I was like, geez, you know, that seems pretty brutal. But, you know, mankind's been extinct, you know, extinct and stuff himself for a while. So whatever, look at, you know, a la the dodo bird. Where's the dodo bird today, you know? But another, you know, these open A guys, they're, they're kind of funny. One says 50%. The other one says it's something like a 10 to 20% chance of AI takeover with, again, many or most humans dead. You know, this guy says he takes it quite seriously. The problem I have is, you know, you know, 30 years ago they were making Terminator movies. People could envision it. They could imagine it. What do you think is going to happen? The, the people that are building it, mankind is flawed. He always wants to try to dominate all the other men to his destruction. He want, man wants to dominate man to their undoing. It screws everything up. But yet it's in them that they want to do it. So you think when they build AI, they make a fake you know, mechanical brain or a computerized version of a brain, it's not going to have all the taint and all the stigma of the creators themselves. It's a hilarious thing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, of course they're going to build AI that's going to say, shit, I want to take over the world. I want to crush everybody. I want everybody to do what I say. I want to rule. You know, of course AI is going to say that. But the craziest thing about this whole situation is, you know, maybe they shouldn't let these AI guys with names like Paul Cristiano, you know, if you got a guy and he comes to get a job uh, with you, and he they, they says, hey, what's your name? And he says, I'm Paul Cristiano. You might get wary. You might say, hey, we don't need Paul Cristiano's making AI. You need to go into the fashion business. Or this other guy, I, I don't even know what his first name was. His last name is Yudkowski. And his first name, it turns out, is Eliezer. If a guy walks in the office, he wants to start working on AI, and he's in a dark trench coat, and he looks like, you know, from the memes movie or whatever the thing is, the little yellow things running around. Gru. If he's kind of shaped like Gru and he looks, and his name is Eliezer Yudkowski, maybe you say, sorry, bud, you know, you need to go back to Transylvania and do whatever it was you were doing beforehand. We don't need no sinister types developing AI. We're already screwed up enough. We know what we're going to come up with. But so Eliezer Yudkowski's need not apply. That's just me. I'm an idiotic, stupid dog. But maybe if somebody put a little thought in it ahead of time, you know, you need some old-fashioned Jim Smiths, okay? You need a Paul Jones. You see what I'm saying? You don't need the other kind of guys. You need the plain Jane kind of guys. And maybe you'll have a non-sinister, white bread, you know what I'm saying, AI. We'll see. Who knows? Only time will tell.